Do I have something on my face? Who said you could talk to me? Hey guys, welcome to Movie Times Movie of the Week. This week's Movie of the Week was Live, Die, Repeat, or otherwise known as Edge of Tomorrow. They did a little bit of a rebranding for when it came out in uh, on DVD, Blu-ray, but it was in theaters as Edge of Tomorrow. And when Edge of Tomorrow was in theater, I actually saw this movie twice, and that is a testament of my liking of this movie. I thought that this is one of the year's finest sci-fi movies. And it's one of the better ones of the last few years, I feel. I think what they do in this film is they set up a universe where this is believable. They, they, they actually, they use some footage at the beginning of the film that is, I'm pretty sure it's footage from when the comet came over Russia and exploded. And so, they're trying, they're, they're using some real stuff in there like that. That's really nice, really creative. And they go from there and they just build this war where we are trying to fight for human, mankind, survival. And I gotta, I gotta say, like, I am with them all the way. They are building on some realistic vision of where we are now. As of right now, we have exosuits, but they're not, like, super mobile or super fast. But we're going from there, and we're building on that with this film, and I really like it. They, they, they enhance them. They're fast, they're strong, they're agile. And then they have them going against these, these aliens that we don't know what they are, and, and they go from there. They add in this sense of time travel in here with uh, like a Groundhog's Day, you know, kind of feeling to it, where even though this is a sci-fi action movie, there is some comedy in here. And the comedy is like, it's really laugh out loud funny. It's funny how he dies when he dies. It's funny like how he doesn't expect it at the beginning and things just happen and boom, he's dead. It's, it's just, it's, it makes you laugh. Uh, but overall, does the film work? Is the chemistry there between Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise? Yes, it's there. Tom Cruise does a great job acting in this film. He, uh, he really does it for me. I, I think that no matter what, he's always doing a solid job in all of his movies. I, I don't know if he'll ever win Academy Awards or things like that, but he's always going to give you the best of his abilities and he's always going to give it his all. And I like that. I, I appreciate that. When he does things in movies, I believe that that's like how it would happen. I believe that. I always liked Emily Blunt even before this film, but when I watched this film and saw her in this film and just saw this new side to her and I just, oh man, I fell in love with her. She's she's amazing. She's amazing. And she does a great job in this film. She plays a hard ass to the right degree where you believe it. You believe that she's able to do what she does, but at the same time, there are those softer moments in the film where you can still believe that. You can still see someone of her status, her her stature, still have that softer side. Now, a lot of movies have holes in them in general. In a general sense, a lot of movies have holes in them. And a lot of movies kind of cover up those holes with time travel. And I, I won't say this movie has doesn't have holes, but I won't say it has holes that I noticed them very well because when I watch this film, I become so engrossed in this film that I don't see that stuff. I see a really good, well-made well film and I really enjoy it throughout its entirety. You know, when this film is going on and everything happens at the end, I'm really hoping to see more of this universe, this world that we're in. I really wish that I could learn more about the aliens. I really was, really was enjoying this this universe, this world, I really enjoyed the movie. I can't say enough good things about it. I definitely think you guys should go out there and buy this movie. Really give it the chance. No matter what you think about time travel and science fiction, this movie is a really good movie. You guys will definitely enjoy it. And again, I just really don't know what else I could say about this movie. I'm, I'm gushing over here for it already as it is. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's Movie Time Movie of the Week. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions for next week and future week's Movie of the Weeks. Let's have a great conversation this week. We'll see you next time.